Hello, welcome back to Ten Little Taffers. So last episode we were playing as Bumbleson and uh, trying to escape from the murderous Constable Masterson who uh, managed to murder everybody else and then nearly murdered us, but we got away just in time. So that's the first two difficulty levels was Garrett and Bumbleson and this time we're playing as Owen. This is going to be interesting, because Owen, as we've already established from the previous episodes, not only is Owen the person who's dead, but it does appear as though Owen never actually existed. Because Garrett opened his casket, and it was inside the casket was just a, uh, a training dummy, not a person. Not, a dead, not even a corpse, it wasn't even a real person, it was a pretext for gathering all the guests in the one place and murdering them all. Bumbleson, of course, was too, uh, you know, nervous and bumbling to uh, even think about actual detecting. Like, he didn't even bother looking in the casket or anything. I felt it was out of character. But Owen, uh, who is Owen? You and Owen. Unknown. So, uh, let's see how this plays out. I'm very curious. Now come the dark times. They have eluded you in the past, but now they are all gathered together in your clever trap. See to it that no one escapes this night. When everyone is dead, make your way back home. So this time, I guess I'm the murderer. Uh, it's an interesting twist from, you know, normally the expert difficulty on Thief is don't kill anybody at all this time. It's kill every single person. Uh, okay, um, I've brought these people here for my revenge and I may want to be sure I, I uh, whatever, what do you do with revenge? Get it, achieve it, carry it out, wreak it. I want to be sure I wreak my revenge. They shall not survive this night. The apples I poisoned earlier today will deal with Katya. And the modifications I made to the freezer will help Fritos keep a cool head once things get underway. That pesky night manager has been dealt with and everything is in readiness. I must remember to unlatch the railing for the Countess. She dreams of flying and I am happy to oblige. Unfortunately, my weapons cache was lost in shipment here. I will have to improvise some new weapons to kill the remainder of my guests. That should be easy. This is indeed a well-stocked establishment. The explosive charge under the bridge will blow after the Victrola recording I have prepared for my guests is played. My guests will be trapped here to be dispatched at my leisure, and then out by nine with no one the wiser. It is almost time to start the show and meet my guests. The fools think I am one of them. They will soon learn otherwise. I've read this before in the two previous episodes, I don't think I'll read it again this time, but I will click through them slow enough to leave it, make it possible to pause and read them for anyone who's just uh, skipped the previous episodes or whatever. 
Um, actually, no, I should read it because this is my clues as to how I'm going to kill them. Right? Lord Carlyle, this bumbling fool is fond of the ladies and his wine. The wine shall be the death of him, I think. Motivation doesn't matter. Archibald Bumbleson. I'll give him some vapours, all right. But next time he visits the steam room, will be his last. Countess de Perrin. She has a tendency to sleepwalk. I do hope she stays clear of the railings. That first step can be a big one. Dorcas Goodfellow. I shall give her an appropriate centerpiece for her celebrated roasted chickens. Constable Brenda, Brenda Masterson. I've heard that she never learned how to swim. We shall see. Lady Katya Signoli. Poison apples, as we've established. Brother Gerard. Perhaps it is time that Gerard personally met the builder. Friend Erlen. We shall have a nice conversation. Mayhap she will get my point. Freitas. I have a cure for all his ailments. But I think I'll surprise him. He was always sneaking into the cooler to clear his head. <laughs> Turn on the Victrola in the sound booth to destroy the bridge and trap your enemies. Don't forget to adjust the balcony felt rope for the Countess. When everyone is dead, make your way back home. Oh, I am, I am the governor this time. Okay. Anything else I need in here? Apples. Well, I'll, you yeah, know, I'll take them. So this time I'm not going to be oversleeping to my death. the sound booth. Um, nice. Between rooms three and four, east wing, upper, east wing. Of course I've furnished myself with, with a staff key already. Okay. Do I just turn it on? It is time to meet the other guests in the ballroom. Let's not run. I'm in no hurry. Everything will happen the way it must happen. No, I will run because it's holding that shift is too too much pain. I will just sit here and wait. Lady Catty will not be able to resist those apples. Dance is uh, extracted from the uh, the drunk guard <coughs> wobbling, trying to stay upright in animation. Magnet, 
<laughs> the bridge exploding and he uh, starts humming to himself. Well, what a strange message. What do you make of it, Masterson? I'm sure it's nothing. to apples will be her undoing. Farewell, Lady Katya. Ah, Owen, such a help you've been. It's time for retribution. Kill everyone. You will find or improvise enough weapons to kill the rest of your guests. Find them. Break your statue to celebrate each kill. Okay. When everyone is dead, make your way back home. was uh, fell for my trick. Uh -huh. <laughs> How do I do I set up the oops map? Uh, well, she's down. I don't know if I can actually set up the, uh... The display. Well, one down. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven to go. No, wait, that's me. Six to go. Oh, it's been terrible, hasn't it? I wonder if I could poison his wine there. Let's go back to reception. So, this way. See if there's anything that can help me there. What have we got? Apples. Oh, you never know when I might get peckish. Uh, vials of clearly non poison. Another staff key, I don't really need it. <coughs> and 
anything in the cloakroom of value? Of use? No. Aha. Wait. Our... Our mechanist friend likes to wander the garden. Where there is... A nice target and a bow and arrow. So we wait for her to come out. Maybe. All those sitting and waiting could get tiresome. I don't know how long her patrol is. Maybe we wait till we see her and follow her instead. She comes, I think. Someone comes. Yes. My eardrums do tap much today. Uh, fresh air will, will uh, Calm all our nerves. I should think. Well, well, well. It's a peaceful night, is it not? Uh, I've forgotten your name. Map. Friend Erlen. I shall practice my archery. No, don't get in the way! <laughs> Alas. Another one down. Who shall we dispose of next? Uh, Fritus, Fritus. Freezing Fritus. His life will cease us. She has a sword. She will be perhaps difficult. If I, uh, Masterson, how how best to deal with Masterson? She never learned how to swim. Perhaps. She will visit the pool room. <laughs> ah, we've obviously already dealt with Fritus. Very well. I don't remember doing that, but uh, one less problem for us. All right, let's. Something make a noise. I think we'll deal with. Attempt to deal with Masterson and Brother Gerard next. I wonder if I can throw this at her and just knock her into the pool. Does she come down here, though? Being a thief often involves waiting patiently and watching for people to pass by. No one ever told us that uh, being a murderer would be similarly slow.
I think Bumbleson might be having some fun in this team room. Yes? No? Or is that me humming to myself? Oh, I see. There's the luck. Okay. Bumbleson, I am ready for you. Let's leave that there. Masterson, I'm also ready for you. So let's see who we cross paths with first. Masterson there, going to her room. Oh, she's coming back. Bumbleson here. Two stones with one bird, or something. Ah, a relaxing in the hot tub or the steam room will do us a world of good, won't it? Bumbleson. No. I'm supposed to go in there. What are you doing, man? Where are you going? But what about my vengeance? Oh dear. Where's Masterson gone? This is this is just not working at all. I think I saw someone in the pool room. They looked suspicious. Blood on them. You have a sword. I think. I think I'll stay ne near you. I'll be safer that way. If the murderer tries to to get us. the pool room I saw them. Oh dear. Now I have to watch my back. I don't have any weapons. Alright. If she's not going to the pool room yet, perhaps we just need to be patient. Let's see where she is going. Perhaps I, uh... Oh well, perhaps I need to break a statue. To celebrate the kill. Because I killed her and I didn't break a statue, so... Where are the statues to break? Break a statue anyway. I clearly need. Right. 
We must build up an arsenal. Must find find what I need to deal with all these people. And then uh, once I've dealt with them all. I think my problem is opportunity is not. Oh, found a weapon. All right, so when he comes back here, we can deal with him. I see it's labeled as a weapon. Where's the chapel? The hammerite man will be surely hanging out in the chapel. And I don't want to leave him to last. It seems foolish to leave a militant man with a very large hammer till last. We see him now. We can deal with him. Speak of the trickster. Should I try to deal with him here, or wait till he goes to the chapel for maximum irony? Irony sounds good to me. We need the such weapons with the murderer on the loose. And the word went before him on a breeze carrying our salvation. Here at last is a man with the mind of a general and the heart of a poet. Has someone come? Nay. Wait, the chapel's that way. Where are you going? Do I just need to get them alone? It just feels like I should... ...try and get them in order. I think here will do. <laughs> All right, Brother Gerard. Okay, Archibald, Brenda, and Lord Carlyle. What am I? What did I plan to do with Carlyle? Uh, Carlisle. The wine, of course. I have the wine bottle. Oh, he's not here. Look who it is. Lord Carlyle. You seem nervous. Perhaps some wine would help. Oh, poor. Bumbleson, thank what goodness you arrive. We shouldn't. We should stay together. Murderer went, will be afraid to attack us then. <laughs> oh. 
<laughs> Two left. Bumbleson. How do we get Bumbleson to the steam room? How do we get Masters into the pool room? And once Masterson is in the pool room, how do we deal with her? Bumbleson did come down here, but and went into the steam room almost. Well, that's not showing up as a weapon. And in that sense, neither is this, but, uh, you know, it could potentially work. So... Bumblesome on his way. I think Masterson is the murderer. We should. Well, there's no one here now. No, 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 no. What? What are you doing? Other way. Hey, how do I get you to go in there? Don't make me use my arrow. <laughs> well. <sighs> feels, feels like the wrong move. Really feels like I should be doing this, you know? Oh dear. Only Masterson left. Still down here, I wonder. What was that? Are you stuck? <clears throat> you seem stuck. Now, how do I deal with you? I do wonder if I've broken the scripting by not doing things quite right. She's not even going to the pool. Well, what? Oh, she has a knife in her room, maybe I can use that. What's her room? What's her room? Room three, which is in the east wing. All right, let's... Subtly run ahead of her, right? She won't notice. No, don't go in there. Except me. 
Break a statue to celebrate each kill. Well, well, how do we break a statue? So does it mean the one's in the ballroom? Where's the ballroom? Uh, this way? No. I guess we're lost in here. This way. There were the little statues in the ballroom. I guess, come to think of it. Yes. I should have done them one at a time, but you know. Oops. And then there was one. Time to go. We have our locker number nine key. Just need to make our way out past the waterfall. What? Hmm. Odd. Very odd. What's that? Damn, Garrett will ruin all of your meticulous plans. Kill him if you can. Oh dear. Garrett. Had this all worked out. Who's there? Don't slouch about in the shadows. Grin while you can, Tapper. You're ours now. I'm gonna rob you of your organs, Tapper boy. Whoops. Well, at least I can swim, can you? Maybe I should not have used my uh, arrow on Bumbleson. I will need a, another weapon. No? That's not a weapon. Those are not weapons either. But, you know, you've always got to take all the food. Frying pan? No. Uh, maybe... One of the guests will have a weapon in their room. No, that won't. That won't work. I don't have any in my room, do I? No. Hmm. Let's check everyone else's room. Where's my key? Well, I don't need it for that door, but, uh... I guess we check every room. Who knows what uh, what we might find. Um, oh! In... Uh, there is... Fritus. Fritus's room. Should have a frog beast, right? No, hairbrush is not a weapon. Oh wait, there's the uh, there's the there's the locked up weapons in in the other attic. They'll be good for dealing with gut. Gas arrows, fire arrows. We have a bow. We can use them. Where is that? Where is that door? Is it here? Here? Can't see a thing. No, it was the other. East wing. To the other wing. So we could maybe lead Garrett to Fritus's room. Or maybe lead the frog beast to Garrett. Not this time. 
Oh dear. All right. Well, let's let's try the weapons. Not that door. This door. Yes. How do we get in there? I remember reading a note about it. Giles forgot to properly store his gear, so maybe Giles has left something in the locker. No. Or by a bed. Oh, not that. Plate is not a weapon. <laughs> See, I did not plan on Garrett being here, that's a mistake. Rufus has the key. Put your gear and weapons and gear in the weapons locker. And Rufus isn't isn't here, right? Maybe maybe we check the safe. Maybe there's something in the safe we could use. turned about. We don't need the key. Three, two, five, four. Oh dear, I don't remember. Let's just go find out. Still remain cool and calm and collected. Not that way. <laughs> uh, this way? Shipping? No, maintenance. Although... You know, I don't know, these might be of use. Maybe we should grab an extra staff key while we can. So, um, killing Garrett is going to be difficult. The front beast isn't there. We could maybe... That's not a weapon, is it? We could maybe, uh... Oh, hmm. Maybe we can get him to touch the fence. <laughs> uh, three, five, two, four. Three, five, two, four. Let's just make a note. Or is it six, one, six, one? You know, it could be either. Or maybe it doesn't even matter. Can I grab the hammer now? Uh, Lionel, please get rid of that horrid bug hive out by the archery field. A guest would get killed if it ever broke open. Oh, well, there's a thought. Maybe we can take this furs. Lead Garrett out the back door. And uh, to the hive, let's make sure I know the way. And that the doors are open. Yes, the bug hive is there. Let us see if this plan will work. Garrett! Oh, Garrett! Hello? Hey, I'm you! Hey, I'm talking to you! Scram! I'm scramming! Do you want to scram this way? Oh, he's fast. He's very fast. Missed.
touch the fence, Garrett. Oh, this is not working at all. This is simply not working. Ah, oh dear. Now what? It's too fast for me to escape, at least not ordinarily. I'm gonna of course run to the pool again, which I think I'm gonna have to do. <laughs> These. Do you play squash? Ow. You made enemies tapper. Count your hours. No. Escape his his sight or not. You're going down. While you can, Tapper. You're ours now. Maybe if you just jump in here, Garrett. Jump in the water. I'm gonna rob you of your organs, Tapper boy. You've made enemies, Tapper. Count your hours. Yes. Good work. Oh. He seems to breathe underwater. Hmm. Hmm. Grin while you can, Tapper. You're ours now. He's a cray man. I think Come it. Come out, and I promise I'll take care of you quickly. Let's. Uh... Hey. Oh. No, it's working. He killed himself. I didn't even have to touch him. <laughs> well, everyone is dead. Uh, I need a souvenir. Let's bring the beach ball with me. Oh, I can't get out that way. Through the locker. That was a bench. Get out of my way. Oh, I can't even drop that key. Okay. Fluffy towel. No, let's take... The beach ball as a souvenir. And off we go to our new life of joyous happiness. At our enemy's death. <laughs> Statistics. Dead. 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 Dead, dead, and Governor Horridge got away with murder. Well, that was a uh, climactic end to this uh, series of, well, this one mission in three ways. Uh, very well structured too, I think. Uh, first you play as Garrett, normal breaking in, thieving, and discovering people dying. And then you play as Bumbleson, 
No weapons, nothing, just try and find out who's doing it and stay alive. And then finally, as the murderer yourself. Get your revenge on all those NPCs that were just running around being annoying. Very good, very good. Well, that was 10 Little Taffers. Thanks very much for watching, and I will see you here for the next episode.